Okay, this starts an interesting portion of the game for me. Uh, it's the first time I've ever been through this, so I'm definitely going to capture it um, just for fun. And there are some people who uh, may get some assistance out of this. Um, I'm beginning my chip complex, which will ultimate, ultimately be a mega complex um, in preparation to complete the hub plot. And my first chip complex I'm going to place here in Orbel just because there's lots of juicy asteroids here and uh, plenty of space for now. Um, another thing I'm going to demonstrate in this segment is using the tractor beam to tow items, specifically some large silicon um, asteroids, over to where I'm going to place my complex. So I hope that'll help. It took me a little bit of uh, finagling to figure that one out, so it would have been really nice to have been able to just watch a video tutorial, so hopefully this will help. Um, I'm just going to place this complex over here behind the west gate. Looks like there's plenty of open space, and uh, I'm sure this area will see a little bit of action, but it might be fun, you know, getting to defend that later on. So we'll see. All right. So for now, let me get the sun out of your view here. I've got my mammoth loaded. I'm going to go ahead and place a couple. Drop station chip plant, and. Uh, you know, you've all seen, you all know how to do this, or if you're a fairly new gamer, I'm sure you've seen the video tutorial series, so I'm not going to explain everything in excruciating detail. Zoom in, let's turn on the satellite view so we can see 3D. There we go. Okay, first one's not so bad. We're just going to go ahead and place that. Zoom out a little bit. Command accepted. And the beginnings of what I understand is going to be a rather lengthy and painful process, but it'll be worth it. All right, special drop station. Let's drop that second second chip plant. Uh, zoom in here. Hit insert to switch the uh, planes and make it line up on the X Y. Switch it back to X Z. Looks pretty good. Switch on the satellite view. Make sure. No conflict here. Insert. That looks good. Command accepted. And our third of many. Just want to check the spacing and what it looks like graphically because that looks a little off there but I think it's just the angle yeah that looks good command accepted all right three of about what 50 <laughs> oh this is gonna take a while all right let's go ahead and connect them special drop station complex let's connect one to the other and this part's a little important where you put this hub is where ships are going to dock. Let's see if we can get this at least somewhat pretty. That's far enough away. Command accepted. Now I didn't use my salvage insurance and save ahead of time. I've done this a few times. I probably should have anyways in case this turns out really weird um, but that looks pretty good I'm okay with that the hub is far enough away and I'll continue building the complex behind this so this will just get to be this massive ball of yarn uh, what else do I have um, just an extra complex kit okay I'll use that in a bit alright so now I've already ran my Explorer ship through here and had him scan all asteroids and there's a couple of really nice um, silicon asteroids a couple of 64s here so I'm probably gonna drag 
to start with both of them over to this complex. Um, and in order to do that, I'm going to change ships. Um, in this sector I have, and I've already done this ahead of time, I have my Skiron docked. And I had one of my Gopher ships go by a, um, a tractor beam and uh, haul it back over here, dock at the station, and trade it with my Skiron. So, uh, let me make sure I actually did that. Yeah, okay. Tractor beam is on board. So, I'm going to go change ships uh, into the Skiron, and then uh, we're going to go haul a couple of... Uh, oh, you know what? Okay, you can't haul the asteroid without a mine on it first, and I haven't placed one yet. So, I'm going to send my mammoth back, pick up a couple of silicon mines, and uh, I'll be back when he's ready to place those, and I'll be ready to haul them. The mammoth is back from Argon Prime uh, Shipyard, and has picked up a silicon mine large. So let's go ahead and have him drop that on, preferably one that's a little nearer, but definitely want good yield. Okay, there's a 64. That's pretty darn close. Make sure the other one's not close. It doesn't matter. I'm going to haul both of them, so we'll go for here. Command accepted. Okay, taking shape. Um, pretty sure I docked my ski run at the closest uh, station, which is this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and dock, change ships into the ski run, get the uh, tractor beam ready, and I'll be back and we'll haul that, um, we'll haul that silicon asteroid and mine over to our new complex. Docking granted. Autopilot act. Okay, I'm back in my ski run. Nice M6 ship that I picked up, a little more pricey than the um, autopilot off. than the Argon version, but um, I just liked the way it looked. I liked the shielding, and uh, hope it'll be worth it. All right, so one thing at a time here. Let's go ahead and fix the weapons bank. I'm just going to install this on bank one. There's my tractor beam. Tractor beam installed. Switch over to bank two. And add weapon uh, one to group two. Okay, so now we have our tractor beam lined up, which, um, yeah, if you pull up um, information on it, you'll see that it has a range of 2K, and this is where it gets a little confusing. Um, the station says, and I've got this this uh, this silicon mine targeted, and but you'll notice that the targeting uh, box is around the actual docking port of the mine itself, and it also says I'm 3.92 k away. Now that's misleading. The the beam does have a 2 k range, but um, you only have to be 2 k away from this portion of the entire mine. But the distance that shows up under your tar targeting reticule shows the actual asteroid itself, which is further away. So it's really confusing. Um, so basically what I'll do is I'll get close enough to this, and that's probably close enough. We'll check it. And then uh, you just press fire one time and let go, and either the beam will lock on or it won't. Okay, so I'm within range. I pressed fire once, let it go quickly, and now you see I have this green beam that's locked on. I can steer my ship and it will stay locked on. And now as long as I don't move over 80 meters per second, that beam will stay locked. I'm going to be safe because I haven't experimented much with this and just keep it a good bit below 80. Um, so I'm going to turn around. I'm pretty sure if you just use the sector map and double click, it's going to max your speed. Um, well, why not? Let's just figure this out together. I'm going to experiment now. Let's double click going towards my station and see what happens here. That will certainly put me in the right direction. I'm going to keep an eye on my speed and stop it if it goes too fast, but it looks like... Autopilot off. Oh, wait a minute. Alright, well there you have it. I think... 
Let's go ahead and use SATA, which you can do while you're beamed. I can still see my beam there. There it goes. So I stand uh, informed, I guess. Yeah, you can double click, click on the sector map and it won't go past 80 meters per second, which is the maximum. You can see the beam is still locked on there. Let's change views again. There we go, camera view. So I'm locked on, I'm moving at 80 meters per second, and I am towing this bad boy. So if we go to the sector map, let's change view so that's not obscuring the view so badly. There we go. If we go to the sector map and hit SATA, you'll see that uh, it is following closely behind. So there you have it. I hope that helps some people figure out how to use this darn tractor beam. I know it took me uh, quite a while to figure it out, namely starting with the right ship and uh, range and all that. But um, So I'm going to take some time here, um, probably not capture all of this on video. I'm just going to get it into the vicinity of um, going to get it in the vicinity of my station, try to get it um, in the general area I want it to be, and then uh, I'll be back. Okay, I made it safely to the complex, and yeah, the silicon mine is still safely in tow. Now this is the first time I've done this, so I'm kind of verifying a couple of theories at the same time while capturing this so I hope it works out but as always you can zoom in the sector map and turn on uh, the 3D view or the satellite view get a good image of what you're doing flip the plane with the insert key just like you're building a factory so you can see that I'm not colliding and I'm fairly close um, I'm gonna give that a try I can always tow it again if that doesn't work okay So I still have the tractor beam uh, enabled. And remember I said when you fire this thing the first time, you fire once and let go. If you hold on, it uh, releases it. So that's how you release it now. Just fire one more time. Uh, actually, let's fire not at the target. There we go. Okay, so now it's released. And let's try to connect it up and see what happens. Go to the mammoth drop a complex construction kit, uh, mine, Command complex hub, so that looks like a good connection, yeah that looks pretty good, that's a pretty good start so let's check out the hub real quick you can see both chip plants are connected. Silicon mine is connected, number one. So about uh, 48 chip plants to go and a few more silicon mines and uh, bakeries and etc. etc. Well there you have it. I hope that helps. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and tow the second uh, silicon mine over in this vicinity. And uh, as money permits, uh, start adding stations to this.